Hi, I'm Christina. I'm Charlie. We're from Westbury, New York. Well, we met about 38 years ago, and we've been kind of together ever since then. Yeah. Started dating. Yeah, started Went out for dating. three years, got married, and wanted a family right away. A bit of a different surprise for us today. Instead of actually going to Charles and Christina Vopel's home, we're going to their son Matt's home. I can't say enough good things about Charles and Christina. They are great people, great grandparents, true role models, and their kids have totally followed suit. We have three children. My oldest is Victoria. Uh, my middle one is Matt, and my youngest is AJ. We're very close. A very close-knit family. I grew up in a very close-knit family. It just came natural to me. I've always wanted to be a mom, always wanted to have kids. Our parents are a great team because they're complete opposites. They're polar opposites. <laughs> yeah. They always said opposites attract, right? She cooks, I eat. I play the piano. Uh, I'll play the stereo. Yeah, he'll play the stereo. <laughs> I guess the one thing that they both have in common is they're both just the kindest people. Our dad, you couldn't ask for a more supportive father. I mean, he worked hard his entire life for us. I, he sacrificed a ton to support us no matter what. It was really a pleasure kind of growing up with that. My mom is probably the most honest, giving, and selfless person I know. There have been times where she has had nothing and gives whatever she can to my dad, my brothers, me, our children. Charles and Christina's Westbury, New York home has been in the family for three generations. I mean, it's an original Levitt-style home. It's safe to say it's a real throwback. A community of 60,000 persons living in 15,000 homes, all built by one firm. This is Levittown. While the Vopel's historic home is small, it's always been filled with love. There really wasn't much room to hide from each other, so we were constantly right on top of each other, always in each other's business, but uh, we loved it for that reason. That's the benefit of kind of growing up in a smaller house is that, you know, you stay tight and you stay connected. My mother, I mean, she was born to cook. My friends would like fight to come over our house just so they could eat dinner with us in this tiny little kitchen. Her meatballs, I mean, forget about it. I mean, it's like ridiculous. You know, you'd pull up to the house and you'd start walking up the driveway and like that smell would just like make its way to your nose and you just kind of float into the kitchen. All growing up, my mother used the kitchen table as her counter space because there was literally no counter space. It was just so crammed and, you know, just the floor coming apart. I mean, it was like made out of cardboard, you know? She's good now. I can't imagine what she would be like if she actually had room to cook. With all of the Vopel kids having moved out and starting families of their own, Christina and Charles thought the time had finally come to build their dream kitchen. They thought they had done the right research, they had done the savings. Unfortunately, this well-deserved dream renovation totally stalled out. And for the last six months, they've been living in a construction zone. Now it's a blank space. Just four walls, a uh, floor, and that's it. that's it. That's all our kitchen is. She was just so excited to finally have a new kitchen, um, something she's wanted s since we were uh, little children. I walk in, I'm like, oh no, I can't. And then I just walk into the living room. Too emotional for me, it, it just hurts too much. You know, them kind of living in the living room, which is now the kitchen. I haven't seen morale uh, between my parents this low um, I, since I can remember it. A rescue of the kitchen would literally be restoring- Life uh, in the, the house. Yeah, the whole life of the house. A rescue could definitely be the light at the end of our tunnel. There's no doubt about it. Everyone would be back over on Sunday for dinners. The grandkids would be back over. It's just, right now, it's just, it's really tough. Hey, what's up, guys? Now, I know right now we're here at, at Matt's house, and that's because your house is in such bad shape, uh, but I'm really excited to bring my team to your house so that all future family gatherings take place there. Not, oh, not that they won't have some here still, but you know, 
Yeah. Listen, I'm sure there'll be a giant plate of spaghetti and meatballs for you at the end of this, all right? I'm really excited to get this rescue started. And what's so unique about it is I haven't even seen Charles and Christina's house yet. So I can't wait to get in there, get the team in there, and see what we're dealing with. Really excited for this rescue, and what's so unique is I haven't even seen Charles and Christina's house. So I can't wait to get in there. We've got some serious home improvement all-stars helping us out on this project. From Allure Home Improvements, our general contractor, Sal, and our designer, Christina. Sal, Christina, this is the Vopel's house. As you probably know, working in Long Island, this is an original Levitt home. These Levitt homes, they, they come with a, a terrific challenge. Right in the middle of the kitchen, the heart of the house, the boiler's right there, and there's a big chimney right in the middle of it as well. This, is, this needs to disappear. I'm just gonna, I'll just stand. Yeah. What can we do with it? I mean, can we box it in? Definitely one of the options would be to uh, enclose the furnace area and actually turn it into additional storage for the kitchen. Obviously, because it is small, it is 11, it just leads itself into this living room. It's kind of hard to do that and, and not do this. Let's just dress it up. Take all the paneling off, get rid of this old look that's from the, the 70s and 60s. So basically, we're thinking, We'll tackle everything from here down. Yes. All right? <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, before we start ripping anything down, safety first. They got hard hats. Check your eyes, ears, lungs, head. A real big challenge for me on this job is I didn't start it. So that'll, that'll pose its first big challenge, is really going in there, seeing if everything that was done was done right, and we could follow up on top of it. I almost hate to throw anything in this beautiful dumpster. I know. It's almost as if we're just decorating the dumpster. I mean, now you have a place to sit when you hang out in the dumpster. Dumpster diving. Room yeah. seems so much right? bigger already. So much bigger. Hey, George. Yeah. You know why this room's been so cold? There's no ins that. Whoa. There's not a drop of insulation back there. As soon as we started doing demo, we realized the job's a little bigger than we originally thought. There's not a thread of insulation in these walls. Okay, so surprise number one. Surprise number one. This whole wall's gotta come out, we gotta re-insulate this whole wall. This room must have been real cold and drafty, you know that? And even though they had the air conditioner in here, it wasn't efficient because it was just going right out the walls. When we insulate this and put new windows, it's gonna be like a new room in here. The back wall of the Vopel's house is all glass and uninsulated walls. Well, that's no good for anybody. So what we're doing is we're insulating, removing all that really thin glass and putting in double pane windows. Now, before we got here, the Vopel's had done some work. One of the main things they did is run all the electric and all the plumbing. But we can't just go and hook up our new plumbing to what we think is in the wall, we have to know for sure. When we open up these walls, one of the worst case scenarios we can have is either the plumbing work's not done right, electrical work's not done right. These are all surprises that we've gotta, you know, we gotta attack them when they come. And the answer is, yeah, we got, a, we got an issue here in the corner. Not only is there no insulation, it's open to the outside. I'm it's open to the outside. Right there, I got daylight. Not worth keeping it. Opening up these walls was just a precaution to make sure that all the original plumbing was in good shape. It's a good thing we did because it is not in good shape. These drainage pipes are supposed to be pitched towards the drain. Can't have your pipes going like this. You want them going like that. Water's gotta go downhill. You need gravity. It's clear why Christina and Charles couldn't get this renovation done on their own. With every two steps we take forward, we take another step backward. George to the Rescue is sponsored in part by 3M. For more information about 3M products or to find a retailer near you, go to 3MDIY.com. Wow, this maze of pipes in this wall, it is a work of art. Good stuff, right? Sal's plumber, Joe, the guy's a genius because now we are giving this family a laundry room. So the washer dry stackable is gonna be right here, right. laundry room. It's gonna pump the water through the pipe. Yep. The pipe's gonna go into a pump, right. okay? The pump's gonna get a pump it up through here. Levis Style Homes, they don't have laundry rooms. They have a washing machine and maybe, maybe a dryer, if they're lucky, in the kitchen. We really made a difference with this one. This is the one part that really makes me the most emotional, is giving them a laundry room when they never had one. 
now that we've demoed everything inside, what about outside? I mean, we can't just leave it like this, right? When we drove up, we noticed the front of the house was just an incredible eyesore. Something had to be done about it. This insulation shot. Yeah, take it off. So we'll take the siding off, we're gonna put new insulation on it. Yep. We're gonna tape the seams so it's nice and under the yep, yep. Now they're gonna be nice and toasty in the winter and crispy cool in the summer. Having Sal and all the guys from Allure here wouldn't do us any good if we didn't have any materials to build with. We've got our siding, we've got our trim, we've got sheetrock. Florence has come through big time for the Volpal family and uh, you know for George to the rescue. Christina, we have a full house. I mean, these Levitt-style homes are not huge by any means. And this room right now is being taken up by all of our cabinets. What did you decide was the kitchen of Christina's dream? When speaking to her, she always loved being at the beach. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to kind of replicate that beach theme and feel. Also, Levitt's don't have a lot of light pouring into them. No. So we wanted to amplify it with our cabinets from Waypoint Cabinetry by choosing a, a white shaker. Even the countertop from Tuscany Marble and Granite plays into the whole beach theme. Bellissimo. We're so fortunate to get a good friend of Allure, Montani Landscaping, to step up and do the landscaping of this home. We start out, we're doing the kitchen, and then we're like, ah, oh, let's do kitchen, living room. Now we're reside the whole house, and now we're doing the landscaping. There is no stop when it comes no. to uh, you, Sal, and Allure. This is amazing. Harry Cat's Carpet, one floor and home, is providing our espresso vinyl surfaces, which are going to provide great contrast to the living space. This new banister really makes a huge difference. Totally beautiful. What's great for a banister like this is 3M's Pro-Grade Precision Sandpaper because it's just so versatile. I mean, you can see that it's flexible. You can use it on the finial, which is round right here. You can use it on the railing. And it just looks beautiful. Well, Christina, it's, it's, it's snowing. You know what? It doesn't matter. We got to do the design work. There's going to be no snow in this beautiful beach house. Mother Nature will not stop the rescue. Before you tackle that next paint project, make sure you have the proper tape to protect your surface and get great results the first time. Check out Scotch Blue's full line of painter's tape to tackle any project. To learn more about Scotch Blue's products or find a retailer near you, go to scotchblue.com. Neither snow, nor rain, nor heat, nor gloom of night stays these rescuers from the swift completion of their appointed jobs. I mean, it's snowing here on Long Island, but the Vopel family kitchen is cooking. Nothing's going to stop us from getting done what needs to get done. All righty. Don't slip on the snow. Not only do we have all the drywall done, we have all of the beautiful trim in. And we're going with a teal on these walls, but we still want to have the nice contrast of the bright white. The best way to make sure that you get that contrast is by using Scotch Blue Platinum Painter's Tape. It's going to give you a nice bind with your trim and you're going to paint over it and when you remove it you're going to get a super sharp paint line. So today we're going to do a faux finish on a brick. That kind of distressed look, kind of yes. whitewashing look. It awesome. is something that anybody can do themselves with okay. the, uh, the right ingredients. All you do is you add equal parts of the paint to water. That's okay. how you start off. That way when you paint it on, you want to get it with a rag right away so that you're almost, you're painting it on and then wiping the paint off. Space looks amazing. It's coming out so great. The spatial planning, the overall look, the feel of the home is, is completely different. We're gonna get some accent pieces that are coming from Safa Villa. I'm guessing we're doing a rug because that's definitely. where it all started with Safa Villa. Yes, it further embodies that whole feel so that way when they're in this space, they can just be in their happy place, be oh. back at the beach. My intention in terms of design was to really give Charles and Christina a space that they were going to feel at their absolute best with. They talked to me about the beach, so I wanted to bring elements of that into their home. And look, look at these curtains, the color. Beauteous. All tying together.
Christina, I know this was not lost on you, but uh, is it just me or do these lights look kind of like... Ahoy, Sarah, I see lamps. So the lamps are really cool. Very trendy right now is to take something that shouldn't be a lamp and turn it into a lamp. Kitchen ho! Rescues that away. Captain, on the poop deck. Let's go. Oh, yeah. So you're going to back me in there? And Christina, you also get me. I'll be living behind your washer, so throw a few crumbs back here every once in a while. Just sprinkle it in, just pepper it in, right? One of the coolest things that Christina did is she really personalized the space by finding this picture from Christina and Charles's wedding. Can you believe that when they got married, they were living in this house, and now all these years later, they're finally getting that dream renovation they've always wanted. It's gonna be such an emotional day for them to see the big transformation. To have the opportunity to work on this project is a dream come true, and to be able to give them a space to bring their family together means the world to me. I'm so excited and honored to be doing this. All right, guys, no peeking now. Eyes on me, not on the house. Well, you know, if you're gonna fix up the inside, you gotta make the outside look good, too. So, uh, we decided to uh, do the whole thing. Uh, why don't you guys turn around and take a look? <laughs> Accommodations furnished by the Marriott Residence Inn Plainview, your home away from home, offering long-term stays and the most memorable corporate and family events on Long Island. Watch guys turn around, take a look. Coming down the block, I'm just thinking, like, what's the kitchen gonna look like? You know, <laughs> and then like we came up, turned around, and the whole house was different. <laughs> it is absolutely gorgeous. It looks so clean and so bright now. This is, this is literally just the tip of the iceberg, cherry on top, whatever you want to call it. What do you say we we go in and see what we really came here for? All right. Welcome home. Oh, oh my God. Wow. <laughs> I would have never have dreamed look at all, of Look at all the cabinets. I have no words. It's, walking into this space now, it is absolutely beautiful. I don't know what to say. This is so beautiful. Finally got oh, a kitchen. She got a kitchen. <laughs> it's like they read our minds because there are certain things that my parents have been dealing with them for years, um, and they hit every one of those issues. It was an unbelievable reaction because of the degree of transformation. Look at all the counter space. I know. <laughs> Look at this backsplit. I know. Stop Whoa. cooking. Let's go. Come on. You make gotta make up for some oh lost time gosh. here. We knew it was gonna be good but we didn't know it was gonna be this good. You pointed out as soon as you walked in that you had the washing machine here that had to make things a little bit difficult. So uh, we talked to our friends over at Appliance World and they said, they need a washer dryer, of course. All right. Do it, do it. Ah! <laughs> ah! Oh my gosh, I would have never thought no you'd do something like this. No more trips to the Every minute there was something different that we didn't realize was going to happen. The new washer dryer, the new uh, in-house oh, laundry mat yeah. that they have now, uh, which might seem very common to a lot of people. Who, but it, it wasn't kind of common to us growing up. This is this, so beautiful. Is... I could never imagine trying to do something like this or thinking yeah, something don't... like this. Oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> Oh my god! That is so good. It feels so much bigger. I know, oh right? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, now that, that is nice. I was blown away by the living room. The first thing I thought was that I, they're going to feel like they're on vacation. 
Every time yeah. they walk through the door, they're going to be able to put down their things and relax. I this, could never decorate like this. All we wanted was a kitchen. Why'd you guys do? What are you this doing here? This is amazing. Here? Yeah, it doesn't surprise me that my dad was so vocal when he came in here, because if you just think what must be running through his head when he comes into the house, he's lived his entire life, and, and seeing that everything's been changed. This, this was a novel, novel idea that we went with. We put insulation in the walls. Oh, yeah, I know, it's crazy. Oh, my it feels like a new beginning to me. It's like, it feels like I'm moving into a new house and it's like a fresh start. It's very uplifting. You guys came through the doors here to do this project, to finish this kitchen, to make this house better. I, I don't think the word no can't be done is in Sal or Christina's vocabulary. And everyone they brought on this job site has been top notch. You guys are all aces in my book. Thank you so much they for being are. part of this. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. It was a great day. <laughs> it was a good day. As Ice Cube would say, <laughs> today is a good day. <laughs> this is our house. It's where we grew up. It means everything to us, and they'll never have to change a thing, and they'll be happy here forever.